What's up YouTube? This is Max's Race Hub and I'm coming at you guys with another video. It's a uh, unboxing. Today we got a box from eBay. Really, really, really nice seller. I wish I knew his eBay username just because he does have um, a couple good cars on there for some really good prices. I didn't know that this car even existed until probably five six days ago and then i bought it the next day just trying to find a good deal because they were all super expensive but i like i had to have it and for some reason i'm not like that with a lot of cars but this car i was like i had to get it and i was messaging a bunch of sellers that were selling it and i was kind of like lowballing them just because I wasn't going to pay 24, 25, 30 bucks for a 164, even though it is pretty cool. I'm going to get this open and get this uh, video started. But I did post that I was getting this, well, not this die cast, but a new die cast and to, uh, you know, be on the look for it. And I posted that on my diecast instagram which is nascar diecast 164 just like that and i post basically all the new ads i get my collection and um yeah just my swap meet finds and you know just all the cars that i get sometimes race updates but it's just mostly just diecast that i get and diecast that i have and i just post and i have a really really cool um diecast page just need a little bit more followers but i'm doing pretty good so today if you guys can guess what it is off that you guys are sick so today oh my god we have jeff gordon's 2004 wizard of oz dupont monte carlo such a nice car such an i have something on my screen such a nice car i didn't like i said i didn't even know that this car existed until like six days ago i knew that travis quapple existed the 77 and then i watched a little bit of the kansas race back in 04 and i saw that there was jeff gordon travis quapple elliot sadler and one more i'm pretty sure damn i can't remember the driver but um they all had wizard of oz themed cars for that race and because i guess it was the anniversary doesn't say anything about it being the anniversary car but oh well it is one out of 9024 made and i mean for as rare as this car is and how expensive people are selling it for the product total production i mean nine thousand. that's that's honestly a lot for a rare car but i mean try to find it and all of them are going to be expensive i got this car for 12 bucks by itself just 12 bucks flat shipping included the guy listed it for 24 bucks and came down that much just because he had two so he's selling the other one that he has for 24 or more i think it's actually a bid now starting at 24 bucks but i got this one at 12 just because he was really cool and really just i guess wanted to help me out but i'm going to be showing this car on my instagram just because i don't want to take it out of the packaging right now but i hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and my new diecast pickup jeff gordon's 2004 wizard of oz card that he raced at kansas don't think he did that well to be honest i want to say he started like 34th maybe worked his way up there but i think i just think he uh had a bad day um thank you guys and please check out my instagram at nascar diecast 164 and come back to my youtube channel to check for more uh unboxings or reviews maybe i'm not sure but thank you guys Check back later, see if there's anything new. Have a good day.